Hello, I'm Dr. Bob Arnott, and as physician for the 13th Winter Olympic Games, a director of the U.S. Ski Team, and founder of the Lake Placid Sports Medical Center, I've gained some unique insights into sports medicine. That's why I'm so concerned about MRSA, the single greatest threat to athletes in any sport on any level, high school, collegiate, amateur, or professional. This sinister virus can scar, cripple, and in some cases, even kill. But MRSA can affect more than a person's health. Once this superbug bacteria has an athlete in its grip, that competitor is, more often than not, sidelined for weeks until they can recover. In college football, just one week without a key player can cost a team the championship. In professional sports, a bench superstar could put the Super Bowl or World Series in jeopardy. Think of it. What would be the financial impact to a pro team franchise? What if someone like Peyton Manning or Alex Rodriguez were so debilitated by MRSA that they were sidelined indefinitely? The price tag would be staggering. So what can that athletic director or athletic trainer do to control MRSA? We tapped pro trainer Larry Starr for some answers. Larry was the trainer for the Cincinnati Reds, Florida Marlins, and is now Assistant Athletic Director and Director of Sports Medicine at Nova Southeastern University. We caught up with Larry in his natural environment, the Athletic Department. Hi, I'm Larry Starr, and I live in a world of player-to-player -player contact. And in player-to-player -player contact, one of the things we're concerned about is MRSA. Why is that so dangerous to the athlete? Well, think about it. If you're a basketball player, football, wrestling, they all bring athletes clashing together. When that happens, somebody is going to get cut, scraped, or injured. That's all it takes. Any break in the skin allows MRSA to enter the body. In a few hours, you have an infection. In a few days, you may have a player who's out of the game. If that happens to your star player, your whole team might be out of the running. So, how do you prevent it? Well, the first thing, treat the wound immediately and insist that your athletes have good personal hygiene. But the next thing is to disinfect. And the best way to disinfect, use SpectraSan 24. Why SpectraSan 24? Because it works. And it works to kill most germs in 30 seconds or less. And it kills MRSA in two minutes. And it keeps on killing for 24 hours. And that's the big difference. Other disinfectants are a one-shot deal. They kill what's there, and then they stop. As soon as your athlete jumps on that table, it becomes reinfected and then your player can be reinfected. So what's the point? Use SpectraSan 24. It's important to remember, SpectraSan 24 lasts for 24 hours. And since we were introduced to the product, we've been using it on all our surfaces and have never had an athlete come down with MRSA or any other life-threatening infection. Those surfaces include our treatment tables. It also includes our modalities, like our ultrasound units, which you know multiple athletic trainers will be using this facility and using this equipment and becoming in contact with it on a daily basis. So we need to make sure we disinfect that. The other equipment that would be involved is any of our rehabilitation equipment, our stationary bikes, our steppers, our stretching machines. All those are important in trying to prevent MRSA and other types of threatening infection. And believe me, if I can take that worry away from me as an athletic trainer, it will mean a lot in my life. So what is it about SpectraSan 24 that makes all other disinfectants obsolete? The answer to that is three letters, SDC. SDC is short for silver dihydrogen citrate, a patented molecule that kills a host of viruses on contact. Those that remain recognize the citrate as a food source. Take SDC inside and are killed that way. But here's the key. SpectraSan 24 with SDC keeps on working like this for up to 24 hours. If germs are reintroduced to a surface, SpectraSan kills them too, two hours later, 12 hours later, or 24 hours later. One more thing. SpectraSan 24 carries the EPA's lowest toxicity rating, category four, which means it's not dangerous. In fact, SpectraSan 24 was specifically formulated for use in childcare environments. Bottom line, 
If you'd rather have your players in the game instead of the hospital, use SpectraSan 24. When you play against MRSA, play to win.